There is one more thing we need to cover before we begin to transfer our notes to the staff. This is what we call a ledger line. It is simply a short line that goes above or below the staff to extend the staff. So if the top line on the base clef is an A right here, the space above it is a B, then here we are at the ledger line, which would be a C. Similarly, if the bottom line of the treble clef is an E, the space below that is a D, and we extend the staff with the ledger line like this with another C. It just so happens that this ledger line on the bass clef and this ledger line on the treble clef is the same note. It's the same exact pitch. So they both sound like this. So this ledger line on the bass clef would be this note on the piano, this key on the piano. And this note on the treble clef with the ledger line would be this note on the piano. So the same exact pitch. Okay, we are now ready to begin to learn how to transfer notes from song maker to the staff. Everything from this pink block on down goes with the bass clef staff, and everything from this orange block on up will go with the treble clef staff. This red block right here in the middle can go with either the treble clef staff or the bass clef staff. This is how it lines up with the staff. I have a page in your handout that you can use as a reference. So basically what we want to do at this point is to put dots on the staff based on what we input into SongMaker, much like plotting points on a graph. The process that we will take will be much like this. Step one, going from left to right, look at the boxes that you inputted into SongMaker. Step two, look at how it compares to the handout. Step three, place a dot going from left to right on the staff according to your handout. Let me show you how to do this using examples I first introduced to you in our last lesson. First, let's talk about how we should draw the dots on the staff. We do not want to have the dots too small because otherwise it's very difficult to see like this. On the other hand, we do not want to have dots that are too large because then it becomes difficult to tell which line or space the dot is actually supposed to belong to, like this, because this could really belong to any of those lines or spaces in that, in that area. So we want it to be in between not too large, not too small, but in between like this. Sometimes we'll have dots on the spaces and sometimes we'll have dots on the lines. When we draw a dot on a space, we want the very center of the note head to be in the very center of the space. Likewise, when we draw a note on a line, we want the very center of the note head to be right on the line. Don't draw something that is kind of in between the two, because this dot right here, for example, is very confusing. You can't tell if it's on a space or on a line. All right, let's go ahead and take our first example and learn how to transfer it onto the staff. Unfortunately, the colors didn't print out very clearly, so I simply wrote the names of the colors next to the note heads or next to the blocks in SongMaker. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Remember, we are going to go from left to right. But first, let's start with drawing our treble clef. We start with the dot below the staff. We go up above the staff, cross at the second to the top line, go down to the bottom, come up to the middle line, and cross over to the second to the bottom line. Base clef, we start with the dot on the second to the top line, go up and then down, and then put dots on the two top spaces and then we're going to draw a line like so for the bar line and then draw a bracket okay now we're ready to get started so we've got red which corresponds with the second space we've got the higher red so it could either be treble clef or bass clef 
I'm going to do base clef since we're kind of in that territory anyway. Then we've got pink. Then we've got dark green, which will be in the treble clef. And we've got red. And we've got the lower red as, re as well. And then dark green, or excuse me, light green. And then lower red. And then two of the higher red. which could be treble clef or bass clef. So I'm going to write the ledger line. Then pink and the bass clef. Red again with our ledger line down to yellow in our base clef and yellow again then we're on the low red back to the middle red or the higher red with the ledger line And then pink, and then up to dark green in the treble clef. I'll also want you to label notes with letters, and you can use your handout as a reference. So we've got C, we've got C, B, C. G, C, F, C, C, another C, B, C, E, Another E, uh, C, another C, except it's the higher one, and then B and G.